Sorry about that, guys. Something just very wacky happened. Anyway, footer now ends at the bottom because I gave footer a clear. So let's just review that for a second. So if I double click this, I set footer to nine pixels. I change the color to white and I change the background to black. Okay, so what happens here is footer now has a clear. So let's do this again. Double click. So footer, based on these choices, now clears both the left and the right float. So let's take the clear away for a second. If you don't clear that space, what's going to happen is footer is going to take up this space up here. And that's because footer by default doesn't understand that site nap and main content and footer and, and uh, news bar is there. So just like wrapper doesn't understand to, to wrap around things that are floating, footer, since it's the last tag, Footer needs to clear both the left and the right float. So that's a very, very important part to get the wrapper to wrap around the entire site. So footer needs to clear both the left and the right, the left float up that it's above it, and the right float that's above it. Okay. Now a couple of changes here. Okay. We want the type to horizontally be in the center for a footer, left and right footer. So we're going to go to block and change the text alignment to center. That's going to put it left and right horizontally aligned. Now we also want to make it vertically aligned to the top and bottom. So here's a little production technique. We're going to change not the box height. We're going to change the line height to X amount. So let's say I want my footer to be, I'm going to pick 30 pixels high. Now, very important step here. If you change the box height to 30 pixels high, which I could do, by the way, it's going to jam the type to the top of the box. Then I need to play games with padding, and I don't want to do that. So as long as it's a single line of type, which a footer is going to contain a single line of type, in this particular case, I just want to make my line height 30 pixels high, which means it'll vertically put the type in the center of the box. So if I save these changes and I scroll down here, you'll see that footer is vertically top and bottom in the center of the box. So as an example, if you were to double click footer and I change my line height to say, 45 pixels. Is this going to make the box 45 pixels high, but it's going to keep the footer vertically in the center of the box? I'm going to double click here. I'm going to put it mysite.com. And actually, I'm going to do this option key G. Option G creates the copyright symbol. Option key G, all G for Windows. Option G, 2012, mysite.com. Make a change. Save a change. So we've completed doing the basic outline skeleton layout of our site. Incidentally, a little shortcut key. Command key minus, I can zoom out of my page, control minus windows. I can make my page bigger or smaller. This is just vert this is just visually so I can see it inside my window here. So command key minus zooms out. Command key plus zooms in. It's the same thing as coming down here to the right side here. I can see my site in 100% view. It doesn't change the physical size of the site. It just changes the view of the site. So it's Command key for Macintosh, Control key for Windows. So in our next video, we'll put in some link navigation in here. We'll put in the news bar section. We'll do some more formatting, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe, guys. Right? You got that? You subscribed already? You should have subscribed in the first video. Comments, suggestions, yada, yada. See you soon.